السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یا ربی لک الحمد کما یمبا کی لی جلالی بجی کا و عظیم سلطان اللہ رب نا لک الحمد بما فلقتنا و رزقتنا و حدیتنا و فرشت عنا اللہ لک الحمد بل ایمان و لک الحمد بل اسلام ولق الحمد بالقرآن اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربش رحلی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربی ذدنا علم اللہم فکہنا فی الدین اللہم انا نسالوکا علم نافیم وعمل متقبلا ورزقا طيبا ربي يسر ولا ربي يسر ولا توسر وتمم بالخير اللهم ثبتنا عند الموت بلا اله الا الله امين يا رب العالمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد Uh, lesson number 18 inshallah by the izan of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are going to start and uh, it is going to be about jumla ismiya so alhamdulillah we are done our five fragments and uh, on base of these five fragments now we are going to start on jumla ismiya and inshallah in jumla ismiya we see all these fragments and inshallah that would be a great revision and basically what we have learned so far we are putting them into action now we are naming them we are giving them some labels so inshallah let's start so jumla ismiya uh, now if we remember there are three kinds of words in arabic right they are either ism fail or harf right so when i say that there are three kinds of words so if we are making sentences so we will have two kinds of sentences either sentence that will start with ism or a sentence that start with fail right even though sometimes sentence can start with harf jar majroor fragment but still it is not going to be cons- considered as any other jumla uh, 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 rather it would be we will see after this harf if we have ism then it will be jumla ismiya or if we have fail then it would be jumla failia so harf does not make any sentence they do not have their own name for sentences rather ism can have its own sentence and jumla failia when we have a, a, a sentence starting with the fail then fail can have his own label and all these uh, so basically what i'm trying to uh, tell over here that uh, sentences can be of two kinds sentences can be of two kinds what are they one could be jumla ismiya and other could be jumla failia as the name is telling us if a sentence start with ism then we gonna say it is jumla ismiya if a sentence start with fail we gonna say this is jumla failia that's it simple and easy right now today we are going to start with the jumla ismiya and jumla failia we need to learn some fail first and then we are going to Uh, know about more jumla failia so jumla ismiya inshallah since we di- uh, did all these five uh, uh, fragments and we learn about ism so we are ready for jumla ismiya so jumla ismiya if a sentence begin with the ism jumla ismiya and uh, that uh, ism in rafa status is usually jumla ismiya okay and if a sentence begin with a fail then it is jumla failia and since we have finished all these uh, asma 
and all these their uh, characteristics, their properties. So now we are ready for Joomla Ismia, as I said. So a simple Joomla Ismia is a sentence that has the word is, are, or am in it. For example, if I say I am a student or I am a teacher or he is in the classroom or she is uh, in the masjid, right? These are all examples of Jumla Ismiya, right? For example, he is a Muslim, I'm a student, they are believers. These are all simple Jumla Ismiya. So the word is does not exi exist in Arabic. The word is RM does not exist in Arabic language. So how we, we know that, okay, where we need to put our is, right? So this is what we are going to learn today. Because this uh, is would be implied when we have some certain markers and that markers, inshallah, we are going to learn today. So what are these markers? Finding the invisible is. So they are, uh, I believe six or seven. Or only five? Yeah, okay, five. So number one, independent pronouns are usually followed by is. What are independent pronoun? Can someone remind me? Anana, Can someone anu. think in? Wa huma hum. Wa huma hum. Very good. So all these 14 pronouns, how many different kinds of pronouns do we know? Two. Independent, Independent and attached. Very Independent. good. So there are two kinds of pronouns and we are talking about independent pronouns over here, not attached pronoun. Okay. So attached pronoun are not going to be um, like we are not going to put our is and we are not worried about them. We are only looking for independent pronouns. Whenever we see our independent pronoun, so basically our is go after that. For example, Anna. Is Anna independent pronoun? Yes. 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 So if I see Anna Muslimun, I'm going to say I am. Not only I, rather I need to say I am. I am a Muslim. So I am creating a sentence when I have independent pronoun. So uh, uh, this example is good, right? So if, for example, if I say whom, whom, Muslimuna. If you guys remember, that was one of our homework, right? When we learn pronoun, right? Yes. How, how yes. are we going to translate that? He's so, a Muslim. No, they are Muslim. They are Muslim. They are Muslim. Are Muslim. So whom is they? Are Muslims. And, they no. Are Muslims. How are Muslim? Muslim Muslimona is a Muslim or plural? They are plural. Muslims. Plural. They, are, uh, they are Muslims. They are. Okay, Muslim. so right after they, uh, right after whom I'm putting are. Right? What happened? So whom Muslim una. So whom I'm gonna say they are. Why I'm putting they are right after they are? Because this is independent pronoun. 
So this is example of Jumla Ismiya. And uh, whenever I see independent pronoun, my is, are, am go after it. So hum muslimuna, they are Muslims. Not one Muslim, not two Muslims, Muslims. This is plural. Easy? Alhamdulillah. Next one. Now, pointer word followed by other than al. That was our last class. So, inshallah, that is very easy and simple. If after pointer, we do not see al, then basically we need to put is over there or are or whatever uh, uh, these, uh, uh, what is that called? Auxiliary words need to put, we can put them. So, haza baitun. This is a house. Because I do not have al after that, right? So that's why I'm putting is here. If, let's say, if there is no... Uh, sorry. If there is haza, and then I have al, and then baitu. Now, what is that translation? This house. The house, this, the, the house. Then. No, this, house. this house. So I'm pointing to some house. This house. Is is Hello. this house a sentence? No, it's a fragment. No, no. fragment. Okay, uh, it's not a sentence. It's a fragment. But when there is no al, now I am creating a sentence. Haza, Baitun, this is a house. Is everyone clear? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Okay, so after all these pointer words, we need to put our Izarm. Izar, it's not going to be M, but either singular or plural verb, auxiliary verb, right? So, Haza, Baitun, this is a house. Third one. Harfu nasab and its isam is usually followed by is. So you're gonna find harfu nasab, and you know that harfu nasab sometimes its uh, victim or its isam could be side by side together, and sometimes they are bearing long distance. So you guys need to collect them, and after collecting both of them, then we are going to put our is there. For example, this one is the example that they are side by side. So, fa inna laha adu lil kafirin. So, fa is, uh, we know this is connector and it is giving the meaning of then. Inna laha, inna is harfu nasab. The word Allah, we can say it is nasab in status. So, this is the victim of uh, inna, the sum of inna. So, fa inna laha, then indeed Allah is. So see how our is is coming. So right after her full nasab fragment, we need to put our is or. Fa inna laha aduun. Indeed, Allah is Allah is adu enemy lil kafirina for the disbelievers. Make sense? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Okay. Next one, number four, proper followed by common. So whenever you see a proper ism, and after that you find a common ism, is al kutubu proper? Yes. Sawiratun common? Yes. yes. So our is need to go here. What is al kutubu mean? The, the, books. The, books. The, books. the books and then since it is plural so we need to put r here right yeah so the books are and then so it is common it is giving uh, news about the book the books are small so whenever we have proper followed by common our is RM will go in between. Then break in the chain. 
What does break in the chain mean? We know that all these uh, idafa fragment or harfu nasab and its victim fragment, right? Harfu nasab fragment or jar majroor fragment, right? Yeah. So they are all connected. They are one bucket. We cannot separate them, right? So if someone, some uh, two systems are connected in some way to each other, and then after them, there is no connection, the connection is dropped, that is called break in the chain. And after this break in the chain, we need to put our ISRM. Someone's mic is on and it is very noisy, so please. And then we uh, look at the example, ar rajulu, ar rajulu mean the man, fiddari in the house. One minute. There is a mehra and Said Ahmed and Mehra. Okay, sister Their mics are, are not on. Their mics are Aisha, on. Yes. I'm going to make you um, co host, and please, if you see any mic, you can mm -hmm. mute them. Okay. Uh, so please uh, mute them, okay? Okay. Okay, so now. <clears throat> Arrajulu, Arrajulu means the man. And then Fiddari, now you guys tell me, does Arrajulu has any connection with Fi? Are they related? No. No, right? So Arrajulu is separate. And then Fiddari, they are connected as Jar Majroor, right? So that means there is break in the chain over here. Okay, Ar Rajulu is not does not have any connection, so my is will go uh, right here. So I'm gonna say the man is, and then I can say in the house. Inshallah, we will see more. Uh, we will do more practice, and inshallah, that will make sense. Now we have more examples of over here. Ana Rabuka. So what kind of word is Anna? Independent pronoun. Okay, so that means? After independent pronoun, we put the is. Mm -hmm. So can you uh, translate that, Anna Rabuka? I am your Rab. I am your Yeah, see? So after Anna, I'm putting my am over there. Uh, Anna, I am, and Rabuka is uh, uh, like it is something else, right? So uh, the point is that we are putting our is, uh, sorry, am over here in this case. So I am. I am, right? Anarabuka. Now, next example, Hada Baitun, we just did that. Third one, Anna Laha Ala Kulli Shain Kadir. Right, so Annalaha, indeed Allah is. So our is will go after that. And then Al Kitabu, Al Kitaba, Sawirun. Actually, it should be. I don't know. Yeah. Either it should be Al-Kitabu or there should be something maybe inna over there in, in Al-Kitaba, right? So then we can say it is uh, in Al-Kitaba will make sense, right? So now in Al-Kitaba, they are together, right? So we can also look at it as a break in the chain, right? So in Al-Kitaba, this is our Harfunasab and its victim, and then there is... Uh, connection uh, like uh, disconnected over here, right? So you, we can also look in that way. So our uh, is will go in here, 
so indeed uh, the book is in this case it is singular so we're gonna put is here in al kitaba so we run <coughs> right so uh, we can see that uh, our is is going here then break in the chain alhamdulillah so alhamdu does uh, alhamdu has any connection with the word lillahi no 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 right no mm. if someone is thinking maybe alhamdu is light first of all it's not light when it there is al Alhamdulillah. the question of being light or uh, heavy doesn't exist anymore right and then we can say okay if it is uh, hamdu even though it's not go going to be a, a good grammatically because uh, the part before is should be proper and uh, when i say hamdu it's not going to be proper but just for the example if i say hamdu lillahi right and you actually it's it's not going to make sense but okay let's let me say it now i have said that so uh, hamdu uh, if someone is think that okay maybe it is mudaf but do we have any mudaf ilahi after it mudaf like no There's no jar majroor after yeah exactly right so that doesn't make sense so al uh, basically alhamdu the point is that uh, alhamdu uh, is uh, does not have any connection with the word lillahi so there is break in the chain and that's why our is will go right here all praise and gratitude belongs to allah okay so remember five things who can uh, repeat these five things that after uh, that we can put our is rm yeah. what are this is i yeah so i have one person one at a time okay uh, the first one is like after every independent round uh, there is an is for example ana rabbuka i am mm -hmm. whenever we have pointer words followed by uh, any word other than al uh, example is haza baitu so mm -hmm. this is a house then the harf of nasab and its ism they it is automatically followed by a, by is the example is in allah uh, indeed allah is ala kulli shay ko be the most uh, powerful proper mm -hmm. noun uh, followed by a common noun in, mm -hmm. uh, the example is al kitab the book sahirun is uh, its uh, quality No, so Irun is not quality over here. Okay, but uh, yeah, it yeah, is yeah, just it's, describing the yeah. book. Yeah, exactly. So it, it's yes. the news about the book. News yeah. about the book. So yeah, so Irun is uh, this book is small. Then hmm. a break in the chain when when there is the uh, whenever we find that uh, the sentence has a break between the words. For example, Alhamdulillah, the first word is put in separate because there is a jar with the word second after it. Mm -hmm. so alhamdulillah will be a break in the chain and he says all the praise to him all the praise yes. is for allah is for allah okay okay mashallah so everyone is clear on these five points yes alhamdulillah any question okay inshallah we will do more practice and uh, they will stick in our head inshallah till the end of the class so very first one more example antum and this time i'm uh, show you how to label them okay because when we are uh, learning sentences then we need to label them right so antum we know yes it is a pronoun but just saying that pronoun this is a pronoun or independent pronoun this is not good enough we need to say what this pronoun what role this pronoun is doing or playing in this sentence right so antum what kind of pronoun 
Independent. Damir. Munfasil. Damir, Munfasil. Which is the other one? Muntasil. Muttasil. The mere munfasil, fasal mean to separate. So this is like separate, uh, uh, the pronoun that can stand separate. And the mere muttasil, the one who is going to always attach, right? So this is uh, the mere munfasil, but as I said, it is not good enough to say that this is at the mere, we need to say more. And now we are learning that uh, all these uh, independent pronoun what is the English name? Independent pronoun. Right? Yes. So all these independent pronoun, our is, are, am, go after them. Right? So antum, you're going to say, you all are. Right? And this antum is part before is are or am right mm -hmm. so the part before is r m is called mubtada what is the name mubtada mm -hmm. what is mubtada mean so it is mubtada so mubtada mean anyone can guess what is mubtada Ibtada, do we know the, the, the subject, subject, the subject of the, the, the beginning? Yes, when we say ibtada, what is ibtada mean to start something? Okay, so from the same root letter is it is becoming mubtada, so someone or something that is starting something. So mubtada is uh, starting jumla ismiya. So that, that's why it is called Muktada. Okay. Uh, so Muktada is part before is. And now, if we have part before is Muktada, Muktada always needs two things. One is Khabar. What does Khabar mean? The details. Yes. Details. 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 Deta detail you can say, but uh, you know, when we say detail, it comes to our mind because we learn in that way that this is like nasab, something nasab, right? But in Jumla Ismiya, we're not gonna see anything nasab. So that's why instead of saying detail, even though it is a detail, but uh, it's better to say that this is the news, this is the khabar of Muptada. So Muptada need to give us more news about what um, because Muptada is the main subject of something, right? So we are mm -hmm. expecting more news about it. Okay, so the word we, you uh, guys are going to use is Khabar. Not detail, Khabar. Okay, so Muptada need a Khabar. So where is the Khabar? Qawmun Musrifuna. Now, do you think Kaumun and Musrifuna, they have any relation with each other? Yeah. It's Masuf and Masun. Masuf, 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 Masuf. And do you Are you sure they are matching in four properties? Kaumun, Musrifuna, Musrifuna. So let's check. No. So Kaumun, uh, so we need to it's check Sarita. status, um, number, yes. gender, and type. So let's check. So yes, Kaumun, Kaumun Raf, Rafa. 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 Okay. Musrifun is also Rafa. Very good. And then it's a common. Common is common. Musrifun is also common. Okay. But can we go in order? So status, then number. Okay. What is the number? Plural. 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 So plural. Kaumun is plural because this is Isam Jama and Musrifuna is plural. Right? Right. Yes. Gender. What is the gender of Kaumun? Masculine. masculine. Is Musrifuna uh, masculine? Yes. yes. Masculine. Yes. What is the feminine version of Musrifuna? Musrifatun. Musrifatun. Very good. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Beautiful. Who is that? Sabia. 
Sabiha, beautiful, mashallah. You are very strong in your concept. So, Musri Fatun would be the feminine version, but this is the masculine. Masculine. And now, type common. Both are common. Uh, common and Musri Funa is common. common. There is no all on Musri Funa, right? So, that means they are matching in all four properties. So, this Mosuf Sifa fragment, they are one bucket, they are together. And this bucket, since this is the part after is, we call it as a khabar. So this is the khabar of antum. So this is complete jumla failure. Antum, you all are, what about them? Give us more news about this antum. And extravagant nation. So the one who crossed the limits, whatever they are doing, they are, going out of boundaries for example our weddings we are very mustrif when we when it comes to our weddings right so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, uh, talking about someone antum you are komu mustrifun the com that go extra like cross the limits left right so is everyone clear on muqtada khabar what is Muptada? Tell me. Yes. What is Muptada? Someone or something to start. Part before beginning. Start. Is. Part before is. Is Muptada. Okay. Remember that. Part before is, you can call it is Muptada, and part after is. Can you call it simple and easy? News. Who can repeat it now? What is Muptada? Part, part before, before is. is. And what is Khabar? Part for Muptada. Part after is, is Khabar. Okay. So this is how we can remember them. Moving on, some more examples. Who will law who? Now, who are what kind of word is who are? Third pronoun. So, should I put my is there? Yes. So, yes. And how are we going to translate then? He is Allah. He is. He is Allah. Now, can you guys label it? Allah is Muqtada. Hmm? The word Allahu Allah is Khabar. Very good. And now one more thing we need to check. That Muqtada and Khabar, they need to match in number and gender. So is Hua singular? Hua is, is it is singular. singular. The yes. word Allah? Is singular. Masculine. Masculine gender. What is the gender of uh, the word hua? Masculine. 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 And gender of the word Allah? Masculine. 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 So they are matching. So Muptada and Khabar, they need to match in two things only. Number and gender. Clear? Next one. Next one, Ana Khairum Minhu. Ana, what kind of word is Ana? Independent pronoun. Okay, so should I put my Zaram there? Farsil. Yes. Farsil, Damir. I am. I am. Khairum Minhu. Now, Khairum is one word. Does Khairum has any relation with Minhu? No. 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 Okay. So that means we have two things now. It's not one word. It's not one bucket. Rather, we have two buckets. So I am better. I am better. So this better, what do you think uh, about this muptada? Muptada, this is our muptada. And we need a news. I am. So what is the news? News is minhu or khairun? 
Khairun, Khairun, right? Khairun. Khairun. Khairun makes sense. So Khairun is the cover. Okay, I am better. And now we need more detail, right? Better, how you are better and in what sense you are better, right? And who you are comparing, all these details required. Now, mean who, what kind of word is mean who? Is that yeah, one word? No, there is Damil. Like Kitabi. Kitabi, it, it is Mudaf Mudaf. Okay, listen. There is no jar there. Okay, now listen, my dear. Who is saying, listen, quiet. Now, if we are saying Kitabi, I know what you are trying to say. You are trying to say. Your voice is gone, Staza. She muted her too. Yes. Okay. okay. Is on... Hello? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. okay. Can you say that again? Because you got muted too with okay. all of us. Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. Somebody's mic, mic is echoing. Okay. Okay, just testing. Is that uh, voice clear to everyone now? Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, very much clear. Yes. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Unmute. Okay, okay. interesting. Hmm. The video is gone. Oh, I can fix that. Uh, You're on two devices, that's why. Okay, okay, inshallah. Is that better now? Yeah, it sounds better now. Better. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, alhamdulillah. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. So what I was trying to say that uh, somebody is mentioning that uh, since Kitabi, I told you guys that ism plus attached pronoun, they are always idafa fragment, right? So she is saying that min who, since we have attached pronoun who over here, so she's thinking that, okay, this is idafa. But can it be an idafa or not? No, min Hello. is the harfi jar. Exactly. Idafa must have two isms. It cannot be idafa fragment because this is the harf. This is not isam. Min is not isam. It is harf. Right? 
so it cannot be yes. Dafa fragment. Okay, so please um, make sure that a... you know the concept properly. So Minhu is yes. basically over here, Jar Majroor fragment. Okay, and whenever we have Jar Majroor fragment in Jumla Ismiya, we are going to label it as M B K. What is M B K mean? Mutalik Bill Khabar. Khabar. So Mutalik Bill Khabar means it is related to Khabar. It is talking about giving us more information about Khabar. Because we're saying, Ana Khairun, I'm better. Better than who? Mean who? From him. So this uh, who is telling uh, us more information? So it is referring to someone. It, this is Shaitan uh, talking about Hazrat Adam al -Islam, right? So this who is referring to Hazrat Adam. So it is giving us more information about this Khair. Right? So that is uh, why whenever we have uh, Jar Majur fragment and even Zarf fragment, the special Muda fragment, these two things are always going to be labeled as MBK in Jubla Ismiya. Does that make sense? Yes. Alhamdulillah. Okay, can, can someone repeat what I said about MBK? What two fragments we can label as MBK in Jubla Ismiya? Only, only Jar Majroor and Zarf. Only these two fragments. When it comes to in Jumla Ismiya, we are going to label them as MBK. And what does MBK mean? So Ana is our Muptada here. Khairun is our Khabar and Minhu is MBK. And now we can check even Muptada Khabar if they are matching in number and gender. Ana is singular and Khairun is singular. Ana is uh, masculine. It could be masculine and feminine. We're going to take it as a uh, um, masculine over here because Khairun is masculine. Right, makes sense. Yes. So Next can one. you please please repeat MBK? I did not follow that part. Okay. So you know, in Jumla Ismiya, there are three ingredients we need for Jumla Ismiya. Okay. Three ingredients. Then we can make our Jumla Ismiya. What are they? Number one, Muttada. Number two, Khabar. Number three, MBK. Muttada part before is Khabar. Part after is I should say after. Part after is and for MBK. Whenever we have Jar Majroor fragment plus Zar fragment, we are going to give them label of MBK. Now, without Muptada, we cannot have Jumla Ismiya. Okay. Huh. But sometimes we will see in Jumla Ismiya that Khabar is there and MBK is not there. So okay. if we have Muptada and Khabar, we are good. Our Jumla uh, Ismiya is complete. But sometimes you're gonna, not gonna have Khabar, rather you're gonna just have MBK. And this is also fine. So we can have Muptada and MBK and still we can, it is complete Jumla Ismiya. Okay. Okay. So Muptada okay. is must. Without Muptada, we cannot make Jumla Ismiya. But Khabar and MBK, they are optional. One of them is uh, good enough to make our Jumla Ismiya complete. 
جزاك الله اوكي نيكست ون هو من الكتاب سو هو اور كايند اوف ورد هو هو مبتدا اوكي سو وات ليبل مبتدا مبتدا رايت اند ذن من الكتاب وات كايند اوف ورد از مين ام بي كي جار بک okay now so this is our part before is this is our mubtada and uh, it's saying that its uh, number is singular its gender is masculine and then it's saying after is part can come as a jar majrur has no number or gender so whenever we have jar majrur fragment we are not going to worry about their gender and number anymore that's it okay because uh, jar this is min this is harf and harf does not have these properties number gender type right only ism has so that's why we need, we do not have to worry about them and that is our complete jumla ismiya huwa min al kitab it is from the book next one next is uh, a small ishara what is a small ishara the pointer words so what do we know about pointer words that uh, after pointer if we have al then it is a fragment if there is no al then it is a sentence right so ulaika this is a small ishara and what kind of a small ishara it is part thing It's okay far one thing and what else number uh, number is plural 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 okay and so gender. this is plural what is the singular of it zalika hmm very good masculine and the very good very good beautiful so ulaika now there is no all over here right so that means i can put my is rm right after it so ulaika and now i'm going to call it my mubtada those are and now ashabun nari are they related no no yes i'll look very carefully and then ابن but it is not ashabun it is ashabu so what is making it light there is reason al, al, al. no there is no al there is al known as khabar the khabar of mudaf known of in as making it one person at a time so it is light when some ism is light we need to check the uh, next ism to it if it is jar then it is a dafa fragment remember this rule mm. remember these steps we cannot just ignore that okay something is light doesn't matter no we need to look so ashabu is light so this is mudaf and annari is jar so this is my mudaf ilahi and now what is this idafa fragment doing here part after is 
What is part after is called? MBK. Khabar. Why MBK? Giving description about the sahab, no? It's connected. It's a no. uh, fragment. My, my dear, do not think this way. You need to think, is there jar major fragment? No. 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 Is no. that jar fragment? No. No. Then you cannot label it as MBK. Okay. Okay, so only Hi. jar major fragment and zar fragment, then you can say this is MDK. Uh, mm -hmm. Otherwise, no. So, ashabu nari, this is khabar. Uh, One thing I need to also say about muptada. What are the three ingredients of uh, Jumla Ismiya? Muptada, khabar, khabar, and MDK. Mutalik bil khabar. Mubtada khabar and mutalik bil khabar. Okay, now what should be the status of mubtada? Rafa. Always yeah. rafa. Remember that rule. And it is always going to be proper. This is the marker to know that, okay, if this is mubtada or not. Mubtada always rafa always proper to uh, uh, condition for muptada for khabar always rafa see ashabu nari ashabu is rafa right and even in the previous example you will see all these are rafa so khabar is always rafa but common it could be proper sometimes there are some exceptions but mostly it should be common. Okay, so who can repeat me? What are the conditions of Muftada? It's always Rafa and always Rafa. proper. And Khabar? Common. It's always Rafa, but not always common. Very good. It should be common, but there are exceptions. Okay, now look at the other examples we just finished. So now, Hua, is Hua uh, over here Muptada? Is it proper? Yes. Yes. And, uh, independent pro. Yes. And so, uh, Rafa, is it Rafa? Yes. Yes. All independent pronouns are Rafa. The, now look at the word Allah. Is that uh, Allah uh, proper? Yes. It should be common because it is khabar. But as I said that there are always exceptions. So in this case, this is khabar, but this is uh, proper. But again, this is rafa. Okay, so rafa is must for both uh, muqtada and khabar. There is no exception, nothing. Rafa is must for both of them. But common and proper thing for Khabar, uh, there are exceptions. Now look at the other example. Khairun is Khabar, right? So if you can see, this is common and this okay. is Rafa, right? Yeah. And now Ashabun Nari. We can see Ashabu, right? So it is common. And it is not common because Anari is it is making it proper, right? Mudafile he is making asha proper, so it's not common. But we can say that this is rafa. So our khabar is rafa over here. Next one, haza mean in the lahi. What kind of word is haza? And there is no al after that, right? Mm -hmm. So that means is that gonna means. go there. Mm -hmm. So this is now what is min in the lahi? Min is a future. In the is a samajur, right? And then in the is light. Right. And the word Allah is Jar. Yeah. So Jar fragment. Yes, MBK. Okay, so now what is the label? MBK. 
एम बी के सो हाजा इज मुबदा पार्ट बिफोर इज एंड वी हैव एम बी के एंड आवर सेंटेंस इज कम्प्लीट एंड वी गोना से दिस इज फ्रॉम अल्लाह सुबहान तला next one okay now look some more example here hazi hil anharu now you guys going to tell me that if it is a sentence or a fragment so hazi hil anharu fragment 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 and fragment. can we label it very good can we label hazi uh, so, is ismul ishara and al anharu is musharun ilai very good alhamdulillah so al anharu is musharun ilai and they should match in what in properties so properties they should match in number and gender only four uh, four properties i think four properties yeah sorry so number gender even status and type okay so they should match in all now next one tilkal qura what do you guys think fragment fragment fragment, fragment. fragment. yeah because we have al here mm -hmm. okay and you can see that qura is a feminine is it feminine yes yes what is the name yes alif maksura alif maksura and that's why tilka is used mm -hmm. Okay, so that's because tilka is also for feminine. Feminine. Okay, next one. Ulaika wakudun nari. It's a sentence. Sentence. It's a sentence. Sentence because there is no al after that, right? Yeah. So ulaika, they those are. Those are. I'm gonna put my r over there and then wakudun nari. Feel of. पार्ट ऑफ द रूट लेटर वकूद मीन फ्यूल ओके सो वकूद एंड दिस इज लाइट इट्स नॉट वकूद इट्स लाइट एंड देन अनारी So this is the and now ulaika is my mubtada wakudu is my khabar and now check mubtada should be proper is it proper yeah ulaika yes. yes. proper yeah. is yes. it proper? yes it is yes yes what about wakudu yes it's proper because of anwar uh, it shouldn't be proper so yeah. this is not the condition for uh, uh khabar okay. it could be common but it is proper and it is okay and now but we are looking for rafa rafa, so, rafa. is rafa yes rafa. rafa okay so khabar always need to be rafa there is no uh, exception for that and this is rafa so that means yes it qualify for khabar next one how like qaumun like Those. It is a sentence. It is a sentence. sentence. So yes, there is no sentence. al after that, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, how la is mubtada uh, and common is khabar. Khabar. So how la is proper and rafa and common is common and rafa. So now see, this is common. And how we gonna translate? these are nations these are the nation these are or those are not these uh, no this is a uh, uh, near one so these these are nation nations we will say because uh, because uh, this is plural right and how lies also plural plural yeah common even though it is ism jama and it has its own plural common aqwamun right but still we gonna take it as a plural 
Next one. Zalika min amba il ghaibi. The sentence. The sentence. sentence because after Zalika we do not have al. So this is a sentence and Zalika is muqtada. Now where is our khabar? Do we have khabar here? Min amba. Yes. We don't have a uh, cover here. We don't is have cover okay. here. Is that okay? We, have... we do yes. not have cover here. Why? Because, because we, have... we don't have Rafa. Very good. We have main harfujar. Then Ambai is, is the victim of main. And then Ambai is light, which is idafa. And Al Ghaibi is mudafilehi. So they are all together. And if they are all together and the, it is starting with min harfujar, so that means this is MB. MBK. Okay. MBK. And MBK, we do not uh, look uh, status number gender. Right? And how are we going to translate? These are. And uh, this is. That, these are the news of. Of the unseen. That, that, that is from that the is. news of unseen. of unseen. That is, yeah. Okay, so this is how we're going to translate. Alhamdulillah, see, you guys can translate that much. <laughs> how beautiful, and you it's going to touch your heart when you're going to translate Quran like that in your own, like. You don't need any media in between. Subhanallah. Haza haramun. It's a sentence. This is forbidden. Yeah. Sentence so haza is muptata and haramun is khabar. Let's see haramun is common here Come. and haramun is khabar. Uh, and rafa. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So alhamdulillah. Aulai Shufa Auna Sentence or a fragment? Sentence. Sentence. Sentence because there is no al after. Right? Al so and Shufa Auna is is that one word or two. Two. two words? Two, right? It has na as well. So this is what kind of construction? MBK. It's a cover. It's a. Where is MBK? This is idafa. Where is no dar? Yeah. Idafa fragment. It's idafa. This is idafa fragment. Shufa a shufa a u. This is light. And uh, and uh, is some plus attached pronoun. What do we get is some plus attached pronoun? Idafa. Idafa. Can we not remember just this simple rule? Is some plus attached pronoun always idafa? Okay. And shufa au, this is rafa. MBK cannot be rafa. Right? So whenever you see rafa, then you need to say either that could be Muptada or Khabar. And in this case, we already have Muptada, so this is Khabar because this is part after R. So these are our intercessors. Hazi Naqatullahi. Sentence. Sentence. So Hazi is Muptada. Nakatu Rafa, right? And light. Yes. And then Nakatullahi, Idafa fragment. So this Idafa fragment is coming as a cover. So this is She Kamal of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Next one. Uh, it's not uh, hard. Do you guys think we should finish it? Because uh, we have her phone us up and then 
Okay, let's see uh, 10 more minutes and see how much we can cover. Okay, Harfu Nasab and uh, it's Isam. So in Naha, we know right after Harfu Nasab and it's uh, Isam, we can put our Isarem, right? So in Naha, Bakaratun Safra'u. So certainly it is. Now this part is my Muktada in Naha and then Bakaratun. Right? So this is my Khabar. And do you guys think Bakaratun is related to, to Safra? Yes. 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 So most if I need to match in uh, properties, four properties, okay. are they matching? So status. Feminine. Rafa. 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 Sorry. Mm -hmm. So status, number. Singular. 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 Gender. Female. Feminine. 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 And colors are feminine, right? Yes. yes. And type. Common, 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 common. So they are matching, right? So this, the whole thing, Bakaratun Safrao is the cover of uh, Inna. Mm. And the translation, certainly, it is a yellow cow. Inna Allaha, indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ma'aswabirin. So this is my Muptada. Now, what is this Ma'a Swabirin? Jar Majroor. Jar Majroor? No, this is Zarf. 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 This is special Mudaf. Yes. Yeah, Zarf or special Mudaf, whatever you're going to call. But what is Zarf fragment? What kind of label is that? MBK. Very good, MBK. So, Ma Aswabirin, certainly Allah is with those who are patient. Ma Aswabirin. So, Ma is a special mudaf. So, this is mudaf, and we need to check its mudaf. Is it Jar? Swabirina? Yes. Swabiruna, Swabirina, right? So, this is Jar. So, this is Jar. Ma is Harfidjar. No, ma is not her fujar. Ma mean with. Okay, ma mean with. And this is basically telling kind of position of some place. Yeah, position of place. Okay, so that's why it is zarf. Next one. Between a proper and a common ism. So, yadahu, how many words yadahu? Two. Two. Yada and who? Yeah, but uh, okay, what kind of uh, relation they have? It's simple. Idafa. 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 How do we know it is idafa? How yada mudaf need to be light, right? Light so do you think yada is light? Yes. 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 How? What is the heavy version? Yadau. Yadun. Yadun. But yadun is one hand. This is yadani. One hand. Yadun and then yadani. 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 Okay. Yadani. And then noon is dropped. Okay. So that's the Yadahu. His two hands. His two hands. Yes. Subhanallah. Right? This is talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mapsu Tatani. His two hands are like very far stretched, extended. So Yadahu Muptada, because this is the uh, Mudaf Mudafilehi coming as a Muptada. Muptada, yeah. Okay, and Muptada need to be Rafa and Muptada need to be prop, uh, proper. Oh, is man. it following these two conditions? Yes. 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 Y
Is Yada yes. proper? Um, yes. Why? Yes, How yes. it is proper? Because of this who? Because Huda of the who? Yeah. Okay, yes. so it is proper and it is Rafa. Yadani is Rafa. Yes, it is Rafa. Okay, yes, so that means, yes, it is our Muptada. And then Mabsutatani, uh, uh, like uh, outstretched, extended. So this is giving the news of uh, his two hands. So this is the khabar, and this is, uh, um, we rafa. can see this is common, but this is rafa. Mm -hmm. Is it rafa? Yes. yes. And it is matching with the other two hands, and that's why it is mafsuta tani. Ustaza. Hmm? We said the Muptada always rafa and common. No, not Muptada. That was Khabar. No, proper. Muptada is always proper plus rafa. Oh. Is. And we are talking about Khabar. That Khabar is supposed to be common plus rafa. But most of the time in Quran Park, you will see. Um, uh, it is uh, proper as well. Oh. Okay, so that is Khabar. Okay. But Muptada always proper, always Rafa. There is uh, exception for sometimes it is not going to be proper and inshallah soon we are going to learn about that. But for now, you, you need to say that, okay, it's supposed to be always proper and it is uh, supposed to be rafa. Okay, next one. Wallahu wasiyun alim. Now, the word Allah, it, it is, okay, why we know that we can put our is over here. So what uh, marker is letting us put our is here? Any idea? It's rafa, it's rafa and rafa. Rafa. So, no, no all after. the point proper followed by common. common. We put common. our is. We put Not our is there. Okay, so that's why we are putting our is here. So the word Allah again, please mute them. Only these people do not mute all of them, and then again it's gonna create problem, and I'm gonna unmute myself. So Wallahu is Muptada, and then we have a break in the chain, right? Because uh, a Muptada, uh, like even break in the chain, you can say, or you can say just proper followed by common, because this is Vasun is common. So my is is going that's why right over there i'm gonna say and allah is then wasiyun and alimun now what do you guys think should i keep them together wasiyun alimun or separately they are together, together. because together, together. why together Okay, did we learn that um, in Musuf Sifa, then when the names of Allah or attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come in succession, do we label them as Musuf Sifa or not? No, no. Khabar, you said, you, no. And khabar one, khabar two. Khabar one, two three. Exactly. Thank you so much. So the word Allah is Muptada, Wasiun is Khabar number one. Khabar one. And Alimun is khabar number two, number two because yeah. they cannot be um, Mosuf Sifa. Why Mosuf not? Sifa. Because Vasiun cannot explain or describe Alimun. Vasiun is uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's one attribute, and Alim is another attribute. So they cannot describe attributes, cannot describe attributes, right? Doesn't make sense. Yeah. So that's why we're going to label them as a two khabar. Okay, then again, one thing we are missing over here has what a fragment, but this is too much for today. I'm not going to go there. And uh, inshallah, uh, I will bring that uh, topic somewhere. And uh, then we have more practice over here. And we have uh, 
this homework so inshallah you guys are going to do your homework on your own and then also i have a key over here so you can take help but i would take this homework in next class so i'm going to put this homework in next class so first we will take uh, this homework as a class and then we're going to move on inshallah because i want to make sure that uh, you are uh, perfect in doing labeling this is really important okay make sense yes sure. so try your best you need yes, to exactly. do homework you need to label them and inshallah that, that is basically i'm going going to ask you guys to uh, label it in the class and uh, that will show me that uh, how perfect you are and then we can move on from there so inshallah with that we can end our session barakallahu li wa lakum fil qur'an al hakim manafani wa iyyakum bi ayati wa zikri al hakim subhanaka allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa nastaghfiruka wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik subhana rabbika rabbil izati amma yasifuna والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين بليز دو نوت جو يت اي نيد تو توك تو يو جايز